Many people wonder with the booster doses now being recommended by the CDC and the FDA, does that change the definition for fully vaccinated? My name is Cindy Williams, and I'm Vice President and Chief Pharmacy Officer for Riverside Health System. Based on information from the CDC earlier this week, they still consider fully vaccinated to be receiving two doses of the messenger RNA or the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, or receiving one dose of the Janssen, Johnson & Johnson vaccine. That being said, the CDC went on to say that you need to make sure that your vaccine series is up to date. That would hold true whether it's a different type of vaccine that requires a booster, such as tetanus, or whether it's the COVID vaccine. With the COVID vaccine, now up to date means that you receive a booster dose if you had Pfizer five months after completion of the primary series, if you had Moderna five months after completion of the primary series, if you had the Janssen, Johnson & Johnson vaccine, it would be two months after receiving that primary series. One of the groups that currently doesn't have an option to get vaccinated at this time and is still at risk of getting infection are those under the age of five. Pfizer and other drug manufacturers continue to work on a formulation for that age group. At this point, based on comments made by the FDA director yesterday, there is no specific timeline, but the FDA continues to work with drug manufacturers on reviewing the data and will expedite a vaccine being available as soon as the data allows. There continue to be questions about, is the vaccine going to be reformulated, especially with Omicron and some of the issues that we've seen with breakthrough infections? Based on a press conference earlier this week by the FDA, while vaccine companies are continuing to look at all of the variants that we've seen to this point and evaluate changes needed to the vaccine, it is doubtful that there will be a vaccine specific to Omicron. There's a couple of reasons for this. The Omicron variant, because it is so much more contagious, is very rapidly moving, and the expectation is that the peak of the Omicron surge will occur within the next month to six weeks. The FDA will continue to work with drug manufacturers to evaluate whether any changes need to be made to the formulation. That being said, we do expect that there will be additional boosters needed for COVID vaccines, and that eventually it may be very much like the flu vaccine, where there will need to be a season-specific formulation that we receive every year.